Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial video on how to make a trustless peer-to-peer -peer atomic swap with Atomic Dex. Let's begin by opening up the application by selecting the Atomic Dex icon on the home screen. Now the app is open and we will tap create a wallet to get started. We need to name our wallet. Let's just call it test wallet. At this point, the app will randomly generate a 12 word seed phrase. This seed phrase will act as a backup for the wallet we've just created. When you create your own wallet, make sure to write your seed phrase down correctly and store it somewhere safe. Okay, a few important security tips. Do not take screenshots of your seed phrase. Don't save your seed phrase electronically, like in a text file or in your email inbox, and never share your seed phrase with anyone. Okay, let's tap next to move on. Now the app will ensure we've written our seed phrase down. We need to enter the ninth word in the phrase, which is fan. The sixth word, which is infant. And now the third word, which is blue. We also need to create a password. For this tutorial video, we'll just use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, capital A, lowercase a, exclamation point. But you should not use a password like this. Choose something long and completely random with uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Now we must agree to the terms of Atomic Dex. Like all crypto wallets and exchanges, you're using Atomic Dex at your own risk. That's why it's so important to take security seriously. You can read this carefully when you use the app, but for now, we'll just quickly scroll to the bottom and check both boxes to accept the terms of service. Lastly, we need to create a six digit pin. For security reasons, Atomic Dex does not show which numbers are tapped, so enter your pin carefully. And now we confirm the pin. It'll just take a moment for Atomic Dex to configure and load our new wallet. And here we are. We can see that Komodo and Bitcoin are listed by default, but it's possible to add more assets to our portfolio by tapping the plus sign in the middle of the screen. Here, we can see all the coins and tokens currently listed on Atomic Dex. Let's just select all of them to add all listed assets to our portfolio view. We tap Done, and it will just take a moment for them to be added. Now we're back on our portfolio view with all of the assets we just selected listed here. We can also adjust the settings of the app by tapping the settings option at the bottom of the screen. We can see all the different settings options here. For this tutorial, let's activate biometric protection. This will allow us to log into Atomic Dex using the fingerprint scanner on the phone. It just adds an additional layer of security. We can test this feature out by closing Atomic Dex and heading to the home screen and then reopening the application. We can see Atomic Dex is asking us to authenticate the fingerprint, which we'll do now. And we're back into the app on the settings screen. Let's navigate back to our portfolio where we can see that we have zero assets. Okay, we'll need some funds to make an Atomic swap. So let's add some Komodo to our Atomic Dex wallet now. We start by tapping Komodo, and we can see that our only option is to receive KMD. That's exactly what we wanna do, so we'll tap Receive, which will display our QR code and our Komodo address. We'll copy the address, and from a different wallet, not shown in this video, we will send 1.777 KMD to this address. And so now we see an unconfirmed payment of 1.777 KMD coming into the wallet. If we tap the transaction, we can view all of the details like the sending address and the transaction ID number. It's unconfirmed because the network needs a minute to confirm that the transaction is valid. 
Okay, now the KMD has arrived in our wallet. If we navigate back to our portfolio view, we see that we have 1.777 Komodo for a grand total of $1.45 in our portfolio. Now that we have some funds, let's make our first atomic swap. Let's start by selecting the DEX tab at the bottom of the screen. Okay, this is what the DEX view looks like. We need to choose which coin we want to swap. So we tap select coin. And the only option is KMD, since that's all we have. We tap KMD. And now we need to choose how much we want to swap. We'll just tap the max option. We also need to select which coin we want to swap the Komodo for. And we can see all of the different options here. For this tutorial, let's go with Digibyte. There's an existing offer, so let's accept it. Now we can review the details of the swap. Then we just tap the trade button. And we've officially initiated our first atomic swap. The first step is already complete, but since atomic swaps are fully decentralized and take place on chain, they can take a few minutes to complete. We'll skip the video ahead just a bit to save time. We're back and we can see that step two is now complete. And we'll skip ahead just a bit more to wait for the swap to be completed. And there we have it. Our first atomic swap is now complete. We can scroll down to see the details including both the maker and taker transaction IDs. If you want, you can look these up on Block Explorers to verify if this was in fact a trustless cross-chain atomic swap. Back on the DEX tab, we can see that we have no existing orders. If we tap the history option, we can see the swap from Komodo to Digibyte we just completed. Finally, back on the portfolio view, the app will just take a moment to update our wallets. And now we see we have just over 148 Digibyte in our wallet. If we tap Digibyte, we see the details of the atomic swap we just completed. Back on the portfolio, we can tap Komodo to see our transaction history including the first transfer, the DEX fee payment, and the atomic swap itself. And that's really all there is to it. We have the Digibyte we just swapped for sitting right here in our Atomic DEX wallet. We hold the private keys to our Digibyte as well as any other coins and tokens we store in our Atomic DEX wallet. That's true because unlike ordinary centralized exchanges, Atomic DEX is a non-custodial, fully decentralized exchange. Atomic Dex is also asset agnostic, so you can trade between any two listed assets like we just did between Komodo and Digibyte. Atomic Dex is a groundbreaking application, so sign up for the beta test and start making your first atomic swaps now. Thanks for watching.